I remember during uh, that Miss, Miss Venezuela edition, uh, Molly was uh, one of my favorite. But the moment I, I realized that she was going to win was when she was awarded Miss Elegance. Miss Elegance, yeah. Yes. <laughs> because I, I, I've always, I, back then, I've always uh, been uh, looking for that one elegant girl on stage. And I felt that when you went out in the white gown during the finals, you were so elegant. And I, I even even before the q and I, I knew that it was going to be you. It was so yeah. different because you have your hair like all back hair, you know? <laughs> well, I think um, as you mentioned, uh, I was not the, 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 the type of girl that, that keeps the attention of the, the mm -hmm. fans during the time as a contestant, as a Miss Guarico. There were so many girls like Alice, Alice Henrich. Alice I was, was Guarico, she was Falcon, so G and F, we were like always together. And she was like, all the hair and all the, yeah. all, the, all the turns. And I was like, can you please take calm? And she's like, no, you need to like energy and give me peace and I give you energy. I was like, okay. So we, we create a balance. But um, I remember that, uh, as you mentioned, it was one day at a time. I worked very hard. I pushed myself, proved myself that I was capable. And I, I literally turned off that the volume of all those that doesn't believe in me mm -hmm. and i went to the to the to the to my designer uh place and i said you know i want a white gown i want to look i want to look different i don't want like glitz and sparkle mm -hmm. and no 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 no. that's not for me i want like a very sophisticated clean dress that represents my personality that is very structured as you mentioned stefan so that dress actually was uh, a decision of both of us. She said, what color do you want to dress? And I said, white. It represents my serenity, my calmness, my personality. And that dress is actually, I don't know what happened with the dress. I haven't seen it anymore. I think it gets messed up. But uh, that dress brings me a lot of beautiful memories because it represents me and actually mm -hmm. Give me the opportunity to show in the final competition. Hey, I'm here. So I, the gown doesn't, it didn't carry me. I carry my mom and the gown and, and I don't know, I feel like a princess in the time. And I think that like that helped to see the people can see me in a different perspective that day. It was a very iconic gown. I have to say, because um, for example, I follow so many beauty pageants, but I don't easily recall which gown a former Miss Venezuela wore during her national final. But I could still remember that white gown that you wore, you know, when you say Miss Venezuela 2012, you know, the white gown. And I like, I don't remember the gown of Diana when she won Miss uh, Venezuela or even the recent ones, but I still remember yours because that is really very memorable, you know? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, it, it's Thank nice to know. Yeah, it's nice to know that you had input with regards to what gown you're going to wear. Is it the same for all the candidates in Miss Venezuela? Do you have the well, choice? Um, you... For the time, yeah, they in my time they give us the um, like a card, and you open mm -hmm. the card as a gift, and it say the designer name. So I open my card, and it say Johnny Stracha. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I love him. I love his style. So they give me like a freedom actually oh. to pick whatever I want. In my case, nobody, they just asked me, which color are you going to dress? And I said, well, white. Okay, that's fine. So the, all the decision about the gown was between the designer and myself. Mm. Because, and you can see it. It's like, it's not, it's, it's not anything it was it's not so sparkly beautiful. or glittery. Yeah, it's really very, very elegant royal gown. You know, it's fit for a, very, a royal family. Yeah, so, but I think all the girls have that kind of freedom at the time and now as well. But mm -hmm. when the organization sees something that a color that maybe doesn't fit with your color skin or with your complexion, they usually give a, a red flag and they say, listen, maybe this is not for you. But in my case, white, it was a yes for me. So they give me freedom. 